Well, good afternoon, everybody. Linda Ray, Texas Girls Farm. It's a little after lunch. And the rains, torrential rains, as y'all can see how everything's washed off. Got some more vines down. Yeah. And anyway, I got my jeans wet when I came out and was taking care of the animals. So I put on the sweatpants to come down here and check the pond because I checked this earlier and this hole was filled up. That creek was filled up. And you can tell by the wash it's still coming this away. It's still got some water in it. So that's got to be about three or four feet of water in there. But I know, <laughs> I know the pond is full because I could see it from the upstairs of the house when I was feeding animals and it's still running. I just wanted to go and make sure the, the culvert was still set because we haven't got it fixed yet. And it appears to be, yep, it's full, running out the spillway over there. And let's see. Yeah, it looks like some water came up. Move the other log from down there. You can see it. So it's moved the other log from down there up here with the rest of them. Push those. That's that's what they're. They've got it pinned. Yeah, they've got that culvert pinned. As you can see at one point, it was coming all over here. So, it slows it down, which is a good thing. It needs to slow it down or it would have already taken that culvert out. But I don't think Brooke and I will be crossing it anymore until we get it fixed. But You can see eventually it's going to have... The whole drop-off point closer up here eventually but it's so nice to see it all full and I love that how we got it working where it goes out the spillway over there and just continues running yeah, that is a pretty pretty good idea but um, we're going to walk back up to um, by the um, garden area. It's nice to hear. It'd be nice if it, we always had running water down here in it. Just a, It's just a nice sound. But it rained a lot. It rained. Rained a lot. Shane's ball game got canceled because there was so much rain for this evening. I just, I just wish it was a running stream all the time. It would be so nice. <laughs> what do you think, June? What do you think? What do you think about that water? What do you think about that water? Anyway, we're going to go up there, and I'm going to show you all what I did um, early part of yesterday to kind of prepare for, I knew it was going to rain. I didn't know it was going to rain this much. But, um, yeah, just thought I'd uh, show y'all the pond again. And there's more of this that's washed down. But that's fine. I mean, even if this just war gradually washes down, that'll be fine. Where you going, Junior? Where you going, buddy? <laughs> All right, I'll pick y'all back up when I get up to the garden. Just that view one more time. Listen to that running water. Junior! Junior! Where are you going? Come and go with me. Junior, come on. Come on. Junior, come. Come. Come on. All right, we're going to go up to the garden.
Now there's two roosters came out to sunbathe. And uh, I was looking at some of this because when I was out feeding this morning when it was pouring down, when I got soaked wet, there was so much water. I mean, you can see through here coming down this way. And I knew before when I was cleaning out that, that the water that comes down from the garden runs off that away. So I had a bunch of leaves there. You can see it's pretty much cleaned all the leaves up now let's get on the other side because it, it i'll show you you might can see better but yesterday i got down here and was cleaning kind of cleaning all the grass out of this area because that's where i'm going to build my uh tomato trellis thing and i dug out some of the dirt i didn't do it in this row because i knew it would filter on down right here in this trench but when I came down here this morning and was feeding, because the water runs down in this path, and you can see it's laid the grass over right here, and it, it was all full. And the, I, I trenched it out there to make that a little bit wider and cut down some of that. So it went in all the trenches and then you can see right there in the middle it still went down that way and went down that way but the majority of it was going straight through there and straight over through there so I planted three of the uh, squash plants there cleaned all the grass out of there transferred my peony bush into the ground there and then a can of lily there using both of them as uh, pollinators trying to do some of the permaculture which I know I need to plant something around the top of the ground around the trees but I you can see I move the leaf mulching away from the trunks of the trees but um, they're doing so good the plum tree is just doing excellent and then over here I just kind of came along the edge because I was trying to get this where it would go down too. Now, there were, that old thing got watered real well. So, um, anyway, I'm not for, cucumbers will probably go there. I'm not for sure what's going to go there. I'm going to clean all this up. Let all this set with the leaves and the other dirt and let it set. And I'll probably do watermelon and cantaloupe there i'm trying to not have it take over the garden like it did last year i might even try to plant it outside over there uh, where my burn pile is and just let it do whatever it wants to do but uh, yeah brownie was 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 soaked all, all, pretty much all the chickens were soaked i mean there was so much water and um, I had a uh, rain slicker on, and I, mean, I was pretty much dry everywhere else except for where the rain slicker on, you know, the top stopped and hit my pants. <laughs> so I'd left this open in case Brownie wanted to go go in, and it was flooding. <laughs> there was probably two inches of water back there when um, I was out here, and... Um, feeding and brownie came in here with me but i was able to sweep most of it and it's drained out the back so i'm gonna have to do something back there to open it up more so it'll drain out but i have a compost pile in the back there but it was all i took the lid off of this hoping to get some more rain in it and um, it got a little bit but most of the water that was coming into the building was coming here so i took it went these uh, forms from the concrete and try to make a, a block and uh, we'll see next time I mean they were there even when it was pouring down heavier but I was not down here so I haven't looked chickens pretty much were all inside all during the the rainstorm and um 
I've been trying to keep the rocks on the other side of the fence. I've just been trying to keep an eye on the way that it's washing, which it looks it looks pretty good. It doesn't look, I mean, you can tell that it washed there, but it's nothing drastic. So that looks good. And they're all slowly coming back out. There's Brownie on the hill. But uh, Shane did have a game yesterday. I did not go back to it because um, I didn't know if I told Jose I was going to be here in case he sh showed up. And um, I got a hold of my daughter last night to see how they did. And they lo lost both their games, but the, the first game, it was really bad. But the score on the second game was... Shane's team eight, the other team nine. So, and from Saturday night, they won one and they lost one. So, and then you can see the water comes down from this way, feeds there, and then the water's coming down there. So that's what all went through the garden. And now everybody's drying out. It looks like I need to go. I'd already dumped the water off of Dutton's roof once when I fed him and that has a little bit let's see the other side if I can see it how much it's got in it uh they both only have a little but I'll just dump those later for all in all this is working pretty well there's one bad spot that's you know you can tell it's still washing but there's one bad spot right here that's starting to open up I don't know what's going on over there but um, one last thing before I let y'all go. It's just kind of a catching up video because, I mean, sun's only been out just maybe 30 minutes. <laughs> I figured we'd get out and walk because, I mean, it has just been terrible. And as you can see, I parked the truck up here. But yesterday, after I did the garden, I came up here and put the, um, the, uh, doorknob on and the lock it's kind of interesting how sophisticated they're getting with all their technology and just simple door locks having to read the instruction so you know and yes I know they're gonna have to come back off so when I paint the doors um, but it closes well but now the dead boats not it was locking yesterday. I'll have to I have to look at that and see what's going on cuz it was locking all the way yesterday. Interesting. But uh, yeah. Oh, and <laughs> the other thing I did. Finally got the screwdriver out because I knew it just needed the hinges adjusted and fixed the gap in the doors of that so that's probably going to be painted and trimmed up and done some other stuff with but yeah closed the gap by just adjusting the screws in that and I don't know when the metal guys will be here or when the guy will be here to switch out that but um well there's some things me and Brooke found went ahead and put them up so, yeah, waiting on the metal, waiting on the metal, and I, I've gotten some more ideas about how to, what to put on the wall and stuff, and I'm going to really need to look at this and see what's, what's going on with it, but I'm not going to keep y'all, well, I try to figure that out, because it closed all and locked all the way yesterday, so, Yeah. Thankfully, I think the rains are gone for today. I'm not for sure. Um, it was a lot of rain. A lot. And you can see, you can see what I was talking about, how deep that one is. And I'm not going to step there because that's where it's coming from. But underneath there, I guess it's just soaking. Yeah, it's, it's all the way there. So it's not up against it. The, the foundation so I'm hoping at least we're keeping our foundation um, 
Anyway, I can walk on this and it's firm underneath the foot. Whoop, that part right there wasn't. That's not right there. That's firm, firm. But you can see the dirt's still up against the foundation. The only thing that I'm kind of worried about is down here. I can see a little bit. I mean, you can see the wash there. But the dirt's pretty much, it's still staying up there, but not exactly the way we had it, but it is staying up there. So there's one last view of the pond. You can see the, the water up and how pretty it is. So and there's finally the beautiful sun coming out. So if you like the content, there's Ginger. If you like the content, hit that thumbs up button for us. I'm trying not to fall. And, um, you haven't subscribed to the channel. Thank you to all the new subscribers that have just come over. Thanks for all the old subscribers that continuously and loyally watch. Even though some of the stuff we may be putting out, you know, is the same old may be born. Goats are sunbathing. We appreciate y'all. Hit the notification bell. So every time we upload a video, you'll be notified. And we'll catch y'all on the next one.